Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrew. Today I'm going to be continuing with my series on religion and specifically continuing with the 20th and 21st century examples of immoral acts uh, caused by the Catholic Church. Now, before I go into uh, the second one, uh, I do want to say that I do not care what you believe. Uh, I believe you are entitled to your beliefs, and I respect that you have them. Uh, and that is true whether you don't believe in a god, whether you believe in a god, whether you believe in multiple gods, whatever it is. You are, in my opinion, totally, um, you should be totally allowed to believe whatever you want. And I do not lose respect for someone based on what they believe when it comes to religion. Um, the only time I uh, start to lose respect for someone is when they try to dictate how or what I should believe based on their beliefs. Um, that's when they have a problem. Uh, I'm also not trying to convert anyone by talking about these things. I think these are important issues that need to be brought up. I think the, the bad needs to be talked about as much as the good does and be uh, discussed and uh, maybe solutions found, who knows. Um, uh, also, by the way, uh, this is part of my answer when I tend to tell people that I'm uh, agnostic and a non-theist, uh, the most common response I get to that is, well, you can't be a good person because morality is given by the church and by God. Uh, so this series is just to show that uh, uh, the church's morality hasn't been the best either. Um, so if that's where we get morality from, I'm a little worried. Uh, but that's just my opinion. You may have a different one, and you are totally entitled to yours, like I should be totally entitled to mine. Um, now, uh, in this video, we're talking about uh, AIDS in Africa and the use of condoms. Uh, so the stance from the Catholic Church... Uh, and from even most Protestant churches as well, was that the uh, AIDS epidemic uh, is bad. AIDS is bad, yes, but uh, condoms are worse. Um, now, I will point out that nowhere in the Bible does it specifically um, talk about contraception. However, most uh, Christians, including Catholics, infer it from two passages. Uh, the first is Genesis 1:28. God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. And it continues. Um, and the second is Genesis 38, 8 to 10. Then Judah said to Onan, go into your brother's wife and perform the, dirty, the duty of a brother-in-law to her. Raise up offspring for your brother. But since Onan knew that the offspring would not be his, he spilled his semen on the ground whenever he went into his brother's wife, so that she would not give offspring to his brother. What he did was displeasing in the sight of the Lord, and he put him to death also. Uh, so, essentially, because you have to be fruitful and multiply and never spill your seed, Christianity has inferred that contraception is a no-no. Um, and so... Uh, they have pushed a narrative of abstinence for years onto Africa. Uh, how is that going for everyone? <laughs> Results not so good. Um, uh, by the way, uh, it, it's been shown over and over again, abstinence never works uh, when it comes to uh, protecting yourself uh, from unwanted pregnancy or um, STIs. Uh, if you look at data from the U.S. and look at which states teach abstinence only, and then look at which states have the highest rate of SDIs in high schools, you get you got it. It's exactly the same. Um, but uh, obviously, that must just be coincidence. I'm sure. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over uh, at this point in the video, and I'm going to show you two maps of Africa. Uh, one, uh, the, the, uh, what countries are what when it comes to religion and two, uh, where AIDS are and where HIV and AIDS are most prevalent in Africa. So I will do that here. Okay. 
So here are the two maps. Um, so the, the first map over here on this side uh, shows the division of uh, religions within Africa. The, the green is Islam, the red is Christianity. Don't worry about the yellow ones, they're uh, traditional African religions. We're not going to look at those specifically. Uh, on this side, uh, we have uh, the rates of HIV uh, among adults aged uh, 15 to 49 uh, by country. Uh, so green, uh, white is unknown, we're not going to worry about that. Green are like the least and then it, it goes up the, the color scale as you can see. So what is the main trend that I see when looking at these two maps? Well, now there are some exceptions, but for the most part, Islamic countries, uh, such as the ones up here, and even into here, as well as this one here, uh, they have a much lower prevalence of HIV infection amongst their adults. And when you look at the Christian countries, um, these ones here essentially, as well as uh, these ones over here, the prevalence is much, much higher. Uh, why is this the case? Um, well, simply put, um, Islam and, and Muslims do not believe that using contraception is a sin. Uh, they do not have um, the same belief that the Christians do, where they have to be fruitful and multiply, and they are not allowed to spill, excuse me, spill their seed. Um, so the, the vast majority of uh, Muslims believe that using contraception is totally okay. I therefore do not think it's a coincidence uh, that the uh, countries with the least amount of uh, AIDS and uh, HIV, sorry, by uh, total population are ones that are Islamic. Um, whereas all of the countries that have the highest uh, levels, the, the dark reds, the reds, the pinks, um, uh, other than the exception of this country right here, uh, are all Christian. So there you go. Um, maybe this should point out a couple things. Uh, maybe maybe just maybe condoms actually work hey who knew it's not like the evidence points to that at all but there you go those are the two maps and that's what we can take from it so what do i infer from those two maps well if if two people want to have re relations of an adult nature uh they're going to do so and Stopping them from using contraception to protect themselves is allowing them to contract HIV and, and or potentially contract HIV, AIDS, and die. Um, and even though all the evidence, all the evidence at this point, uh, points to the fact that condoms help in preventing a, the spread of HIV and AIDS, uh, I do believe that the church is entitled to their opinion and they can suggest whatever they want to the people. I do think, however, when in saying that, that it should be a, a moral obligation of the church to point out what the evidence actually shows. So they could do it something like this. Uh, well, personally, um, we believe because of the what is said in the Bible that contraception is, is, is sinful to use. However, we will point out that uh, all the evidence from scientific studies show that, in fact, it does help in the prevention of the spread of HIV and AIDS. Uh, I, I think that would be a much better way to do it. Uh, then you can provide your view on morality and still save, well, millions of lives at this point.